Hey guys, and welcome back to Castle Crush. And it has been a while since I've posted on this channel, but as you can see here in the previous season, I did return to Champion 1 League, so I thought that was worth uh, sharing. I meant to share it when it happened, but uh, it's been a little while. There are some various issues that kind of came up that I guess we'll talk about, but as you can see, I actually set my uh, season highest trophies um uh, i actually set the highest ever as you'll see later in the video but uh, i got back to champion one league here again with the same deck i'd been using in the past and it was weird other seasons i wasn't able to get back to champion but for some reason this season i was i don't know why exactly i mean i guess i just was in better position uh the day before the season ended i do feel like for me to get there i have to be like you know i have to be pretty close a day or two before the season ends and then I have to boost and I have to you know get on a particular streak um, but so where have I been for like the past month well there are different things that have been going on and I mean one of the issues is I've looked at my castle crush content and largely I don't feel like it's performed anywhere near as well as it used to so that was kind of concerning to me you know it's hard to it's hard to try and convince myself to invest time in making a lot of content that only gets a fraction of the views that it used to get. Uh, you know, it doesn't make me feel like I'm on, you know, a, a sort of positive trend for the channel. Um, but, so I decided really I was going to just try and uh, see if I could change the content strategy or the types of videos I was making. Because clearly I was out of ideas to some extent and the ideas I was using were not ones... Uh, that seem to be connecting with people as well. Part of that could just be due to the popularity of Castle Crush, you know, not getting... Number one thing is it's not getting recommended. My videos have not been getting recommended the way that they used to. It used to be like every single video would get recommended for a while, and now none of the ones since I've returned have gotten suggested. Like, I looked through the analytics and none of them have gotten suggested on a regular basis, despite the fact that I feel like some of them were good enough to have been suggested so it's kind of hard to say for sure but my personal feeling has been that something with my content strategy needed to change so I was looking at that and then I realized the whole children's online privacy protection act issue has been coming up and if you're someone who makes content on YouTube you know it's been kind of a big topic so Really, basically, the YouTube got fined by the FTC, and as a result um, of their settlement, uh, because they were collecting children from data from children, um, you know, as a result of their settlement, uh, we now have to mark our content as for kids or not for kids. And based on that, you know, if you mark it as being for kids, then you won't receive your you, well, I don't know all the things for sure because I've heard a lot of different things, but I know for sure you won't receive personalized ads on your videos. You can't turn them on, which means that, like, a very huge percent of the ad revenue cannot be, you know, you're not going to get it. Uh, so that's kind of a big deal. So naturally, I was trying to figure out if I was going to have to mark Castle Crush videos as for kids. Um, because if I did, then obviously the lack of being able to make money off of them, for the most part, would be kind of a problem. And I was like, well, I might have to, you know, I might have to um, make content on something else. So I was looking for other games to potentially do it on, to make videos on, and I still am, but, you know... After doing a lot of uh, research, I kind of feel that Castle Crush is probably okay because all of the data, all of the data I have indicates that my uh, audience here is mostly adults. In fact, it indicates they're mostly over the age of like 25 or whatever. So, I mean, that's just the YouTube analytics. Obviously, children can lie with their age, but there's no way for me to know that they're lying. So for now, I'm going to leave castle crush as marked for not for kids because i don't think kids are the intended audience or the primary or even the secondary audience um i think they're one of the smaller age groups 
I mean, I know there are kids that play Castle Crush. I don't know how many actually watch this channel, and it's pretty impossible to know because I have no data that would tell me that. And I don't really have any way to find out. Any sort of poll I could post, you know, people might just lie about their age because obviously they don't want YouTube to remove them. Um, so I don't really know how I could possibly know. The only data I have says that there are adults watching my content. So that's what I'm going to go off of because I'm not making videos about nursery rhymes or, you know, children's toys or anything like that. So I, I just don't feel like my content fits into that classification. But as you can imagine, having to decide between made for kids or not made for kids was kind of driving me a little bit crazy, especially considering I have some videos on games that are like Pokemon games, like Pokemon Go, Pokemon Duel. Um, and I decided in the end to mark those as made for kids. And the reason why, well, one of the reasons is an obvious one, which is that they don't have many views and I don't expect them to get many views at this point. No one's really watching those videos, so it kind of made sense to just do it. And I also just, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if Pokemon Falls in that line. Was was it intended for kids specifically? No. Um, I know plenty of adults who obviously played Pokemon Go. But, you know, it's hard to, I don't want to take any chances, and Pokemon does seem like something that maybe they could, you know, like an algorithm could say, hey, that's for kids. So... Castle Crush, though, honestly, I had videos with, like, Unchained Demon in the title that, like, got demonetized during the first go-around of the uh, demonetization stuff. So, they got restored eventually. The monetization got restored, but they actually demonetized them, and I think it was because they seemed to all be ones that had, like, Demon or Unchained Demon in the title, and I think they thought that that was adver advertiser-unfriendly. So, if it could be advertiser unfriendly, I have no idea how they could possibly imagine putting it, putting Castle Crush or some video with Unchained Demon in the title in the kids section. You know what I mean? I don't know how they could possibly imagine recommending that on kids videos. So, I didn't think there was any way, like, if Castle Crush was somehow for kids, it would be like some videos were and some videos weren't. Which, for the same game, you would think they should all fall into one category or the other. So, I think they're in the adult category. Not adult category, but not made for kids. So, as you can see here, reached some of my highest trophies ever, 6,264. And I was ranked 95th locally. And that is my highest local ranking pretty much ever. So, yeah, I, I'm really, really happy with that. Um, as you can see, did pretty well. Fluizo is only actually like, what, 60 trophies ahead of me? 50, 60 trophies ahead of me? So, I don't know. You know, I felt like this is that was definitely one of my better season finishes. Um, and I think it helped that I practiced with this same deck. Even though I don't know if this is supposed to be a ranked deck or not. I really was using it for the championship. But then, I don't know. I just decided I like this deck. And I practiced it season after season. So I think that has helped. Less even because of card levels. But more just because I almost feel like I know kind of exactly what I'm going to do against each type of deck. And how I'm going to start the match. So that's always a huge advantage if you have played your deck so much that you know it like really well like that. So uh, I think that was a big difference maker in here. I was trying to push um, to see if I could keep going further. But as you can see, I ended up against a rushing deck. I thought I made the right move by getting rid of the Reaper initially. But then I didn't know what to do because I knew they were going to switch lanes. But I just didn't really have... I didn't really seem to have anything else to do there um and then i tried another match after that and i also lost also to a rushing deck and then i just kind of gave up because it's just too much work i thought it was going to drop out of champion so i was like eh, i'll just stay here <laughs> um so yeah i'm sorry this turned into a rant about the uh children's 
content stuff, but it's been kind of a big deal, and I wasn't sure if I was even going to be able to continue to make Castle Crush content, and still not 100% sure, like, which mobile games are going to be affected by this situation, um, but I should be back to making content, more content soon, I think. So leave a like if you enjoyed, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments and what other types of content I should create. Maybe subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos.